The guests on today's show say they've been ripped off and their dreams were squashed. Michelle Pogendick and her husband, Jeffrey, have been charged with what they did to Susan and Anthony. Now, they're in jail right now, waiting for trial, and we contacted their attorney, but they declined to comment. I wish they'd had something to say. Now, Susan and Anthony live in New York, but since Pogendick lived in Florida, they hired attorney Jeannie Tate to, from my home state to make sure everything was in order. Jeannie, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, I'm John. proud you're from my home state there. And you have quite a reputation as, a, as this type of lawyer, an adoption lawyer. Tell me how you got involved. Well, Susan had contacted me one day and kind of shared the excitement of being matched with Michelle and Jeff and uh, asked me if I would handle the legal work uh, necessary to finalize the adoption. Because they're from New York, you're in Florida. Um, what did you find out about this lady, about this Pogan Dick? Well, one day I'd gotten a call from another adoptive mom who asked if I would handle her adoption. She said she'd met a birth mother on the internet and they were scheduled to meet and she kind of wanted some tips and as she told me the story it started to sound very suspiciously familiar to this Michelle and I deduced from that conversation that in fact this was Michelle. So you were the investigator. You put two and two together and say this Michelle Pogan dicks out selling the same baby possibly to two couples. Yeah, clearly. Oh, wow. Not only did I find this family but after that my antenna got raised so I started calling other adoption attorneys and other adoption professionals and found out she was taking money from three different families in three different states, having them all pay her rent, um, quote unquote, her food, her electric, her car. She was lying about her due date so that she could entice them to give her money faster and quicker because she was getting close to her delivery. What a scam, playing with the hearts of wonderful people that want to adopt a baby and getting money from different people at different times. Was she even pregnant? She was pregnant, but she wasn't due until February. And uh, she um, really had no intention, of course, to place one child with three different families. What do you think would have happened? And I can only, only, you know, hypothesize. What do you think would have happened to this family at the end of the game? What if they hadn't called you up? Because they're pretty smart, sophisticated, loving people. What, what do you think would have happened when it was time to get that baby? She would have disappeared with that baby? Well, she wasn't due in November, so they certainly would have learned at some point that she was lying about her due date. And um, I think they would have lost a lot more money and had a lot more heartache to get to that hospital and be empty-handed. What do you think about this lady, Susan and Anthony? She's, she's a pro, and she, you know, when we um, decided to contact the Sheriff's Department, it really was a hard decision for us because she does have three children, and we felt really, really bad of what would happen to her three kids, but we couldn't allow her to get away with doing this. I mean, she did it to three families. She wasn't due in November. She was gonna scam the three of us and then turn around and scam other people. And there's nothing stopping her from getting her pregnant a sixth time. She was 22 years old and she yeah, was well, making a business I, out I, of it. I, I absolutely agree with you. I mean, I think it's just wonderful that you were smart enough to contact an attorney and this lady put it all together, but you did some great work there. You keep up your good work in my home state. I'm proud of you for what Thank you, you. Helped, did to help these people. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching today, and I always say it, please stay safe. We'll see you next time.